Aloha, and welcome to Theology and Film. My name is Gary Stratton, and I'm going to be your guide on this seven-week adventure into a deeper understanding of visual storytelling than you ever imagined possible. I'm talking today from Kauai, perhaps the most beautiful island in the world. And Kauai is famous for its astonishing beaches, its breathtaking waterfalls, its beautiful emerald mountains, including the Waimea Valley, the Grand Canyon of the Pacific, and its awe-inspiring views of the nearly inaccessible Nepali coast. That's one reason why Kauai is such a Hollywood favorite for shooting movies, including many of the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, Avatar, Pirates of the Caribbean movies, just to make a sh name a few. But what Kauai is really known for is its beauty, is something it's not easy for the casual observer to take in. Sitting here looking at beautiful Kapa'a Bay, perhaps one of the 10 most beautiful bays in all of Hawaii. I'm going to make you dizzy here. You can barely make out, just out there in the bay, some structures that are so amazing, and yet they're com nearly completely invisible to the naked eye. Coral reefs that are alive with unimaginable sea life, fish of every shape and color, playful monk seals, the comical relief of, the, of Hawaii, and, creature, and the creatures that drew my wife and I here, the Hawaiian green turtle. Just yesterday, Sue and I spent over an hour swimming with a group of four giant turtles, the closest of which was over 700 pounds, on a journey that one could only describe as magical. Would have been possible without one of these, a snorkel mask. A snorkel mask is what enables you to look beneath the waves and to see the structures that were always there, to see the beauty of the fish and the turtles that have always been there and yet you missed because you didn't have the ability to look at it. That's what this course is going to be like by learning the structures of story, the structures that have been woven into all of creation, woven into the human brain, believe it or not. Oops. A structure that is all throughout every story you know in Scripture, in Scripture itself. A, stru a structure that the church used to be incredibly gifted at telling, and yet somehow we've lost. That as we get to know that, uh, we'll just call them here, the, the hero's external journey and the hero's internal journey. By simply learning that simple snorkel mask, we'll be able to look deeper into films than we ever imagined possible. Now, why do you want to do that? It's because this course is about theology and film. In the same way that if it was a course of theology in German, you'd have to learn how to speak German before you could do a good job. You need to be able to learn how to, learn how to read film before you're capable of being able to read what's going on theologically in a film. Sadly, when most Christians are talking about films, they really sound like total idiots to people on the inside. They're saying film good, film bad, simply looking at the surface structures or critiquing the waves or the, of the arc of the beach when what's really going on is completely under the surface with the real deep meaning of a film. That's what I wanted to lead you to learn how to, to ferret out, to be able to see the true worldview statement that's being made in a film and then comparing it to the worldview statements that we know from scripture and Christian theology so that we can do clear understanding of the theology of a film. It's going to take work. You 
poor things, you're going to have to watch a lot of films over the next seven weeks. I bet you're going to hate that. There'll be weeks you'll actually watch three three movies an entire week. Sorry, honey. I can't take out the garbage. I got homework. I got to watch a film. Well, that's what it's going to be like. Matter of fact, you're going to start driving your friends and your loved ones crazy because you're going to be able to say, oh, oh, I just saw something. I just saw a structure. Look at that. And they're going to say, what, what, what are you talking about? As you're just watching films, as it begins to come alive to you. Now, seven weeks isn't much time for that, but you'll get it. You will begin to understand film in a way that you never imagined possible. Now, I want you to not be afraid of it. This will be a crazy process. We're gonna, I'm going to teach you a worksheet methodology to kind of work through, and there'll be times you'll have absolutely no idea what the answer is. So just put something down. There are no wrong answers when it comes to interpreting film. Matter of fact, if I was sitting here arguing with the director of the film and the screenwriter of the film, I might be able to get them in an argument about the meaning of the film because they disagree about it. Matter of fact, sometimes there's messages that are so deeply buried in the film that not even the director or the screenwriter intended them, and yet there they are. Because that's the way that God has woven structure, story structure, into the world. So sit back, enjoy yourself. Start getting into the first video, first, they're more like PowerPoint shares to get an idea of the structure. And then this week, I want you to watch Star Wars, the original one, Star Wars A New Hope. And as you, as, and watch it with new eyes, and then talk about it with one another and me online. And we're going to start to get at a deeper understanding of what it means. Meanwhile, I'm going to go snorkel. Aloha.